Praise the Lord. Shanda Banda Karabrosata. Here we are. We're back at it again, my friends. Praise God. Comment below where you are watching from. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I was just in the middle of my sermon, my dissertation for the day, talking about creating miracles and creating wealth. And right in the middle, I guess the internet just spazzed out, even though the speed test for this home says that we got good, very fast internet, actually. It's very fast. But amen, friends, continue to log in, jump in. I want to finish what I'm sharing today. I have to start a whole new broadcast, but it's all right. Like I said here, I'm live here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I just left speaking at ORU at a panel for Web3 Business Conference. And... uh very inspired, very encouraged that uh, I got to connect with many people from ORU, some heavy hitters, leaders at ORU, and just incredible people in that space. But today we're talking about creating miracles. Amen. And continue to give me some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Friends, I want to finish this word uh, for the day. Amen. But I believe this is a season where God is in get ready for creative miracles. The same God who created the heavens and the earth will create new body parts. Do you need a new eye? Do you need a new ear? Do you need new organs? Do you need God to do something in your life and your body? Well, he wants the power of God's word. He wants his word, his rhema, his revelation, the downloads, the dreams, the visions in your life. He wants that to turn into manifestation. So I believe we're living in the days right now where the spirit of the Lord is pouring out his spirit and he wants you to create. Someone say create. He wants you to be creative. Remember, in the beginning, God created. So God is creative and you and I together, we're meant to co-create with Jesus. Just before the, bro the last broadcast went haywire, I began to share my life. Because many people ask me, Pastor Ben, how do you travel so much? How do you do what you do? Well, I've been doing this for 14 years. But let me tell you, I created, I built my life to be this way. Because I center my life around Jesus and I said, I envision myself traveling. I envision myself going across the world. I envision myself preaching at different churches, crusades, etc., etc., all around the earth. Therefore, because I envisioned it, I began to act out on it and I began to create, develop my life in the way that I wanted to go. You see, first you have to believe. First you have to receive. First you have to receive the download, the idea, the vision for your life. And once you receive that, then you begin to create it on earth. I declare right now, million dollar ideas are coming to your bosom. Multi-million dollar ideas are coming to your mind. The Lord wants to release a creative realm and a creative anointing. Because in the same way where Adam, hear me now, Adam co-created with God. How did Adam co-create? God put Adam in the garden and he said, now you work. Did you know that work? was before the fall, before the fall, before the fall of sin and disobedience and rejection, God commanded Adam to work. Why? Because Adam was also creative. The Lord wanted Adam to create, to be like God, develop, to grow this. You see all of this. I've given you a seed, grow it. I've given you a vision, grow it. I've given you a small piece, grow it. Increase it in the mighty name of Jesus. And that's what creative anointing is. The anointing creates. The anointing of God develops. It causes you to increase. Amen. So Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The same God who creates the heavens and the earth. Shakaraba. He will create something new out of your life. That same God. Did you know that God is still creating? God never said, I'm, I've stopped creating. God is still creating. The Lord is still creating. Here, of course, as I said earlier, Deuteronomy 8, 18. 
but you shall remember the Lord your God. And everybody jumping on, God bless you. Please continue to give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. Praise God. My last broadcast, I was about 30 minutes in and my internet went haywire, but all is well. Please give us some hearts and likes because today I'm here in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I'm talking about creative miracles because I believe this is a season of creative miracles and God wants you to have faith. It's still the beginning of this year. You are still early, my friends. This is going to be the best year of your life and you need to receive God's word. You need to receive the word of God, the download, the revelation, and to create with Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. But Deuteronomy 8.18, I have given you power to get, to create wealth. Someone say amen. I believe this is going to be the most prosperous year of your life. This will be the most blessed year of your life. 2023, even in the midst of the shakings of the world and even in the midst of the calamity and the fall of the economy, this will be the most prosperous, most fruitful, abundant life year, excuse me, of the church this year. Because you and I, we move in a creative realm. We move in creative miracles. If you do not create, then you will die. Why? Because we as a church and as human beings, we're meant to be bearers of life. We're meant to be life-giving. And life creates. Life has natural osmosis to create, to develop. So you're going to go from glory to glory, increase to increase. But the same anointing that creates body parts is the same anointing to get to create wealth. Someone say ideas. God is downloading, depositing multi-million dollar ideas into your bosom. The Lord is imparting multi-billion dollar ideas into your spirit. God gives you an idea to do a conference. Do it. God gives you an idea to make something. Do it. Because that faith with action will begin to cause a movement and a ripple effect. And that's how wealth is created. Power of an idea and power of action. Now let's go here. Exodus chapter 36, verse 31. Amen. Exodus 35, excuse me. Exodus 35, verse 31. And the Bible says, and he has filled him with the spirit of God. Now this is Bezalel. Now Bezalel was the first person mentioned in the whole Bible that was filled with the Holy Ghost. Does that mean that Bezalel was saved? Does that mean he received the salvation of the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach? I believe not. However, he was filled with the Spirit for a certain purpose. Not for salvation, but for a purpose. If you're following me, nod your head yes, give us some hearts and likes, and share this on your wall. Exodus 35, verse 31 to 32. The word of God says, and he has filled him with the spirit of God, with skill and intelligence, knowledge and with all craftsmanship to devise artistic designs, to work in gold and silver and in bronze. If you're with me today, say amen. The first person who was filled with the Spirit of God in the Bible. It was not for salvation, but it was to build. Why am I sharing this? Because Bezalel created, built God's tabernacle, God's temple. Bezalel was anointed, filled with the Spirit to create. The anointing is life. The anointing creates. Without the grace, without the breath, without the Ruach, the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, without the Spirit of God, how can we live? So the anointing is the grace of God to create, to move, to do. I declare right now, you are about to build. You are about to do. You are about to create in the mighty name of Jesus. You are about to create something new that the world has never seen. New platforms. New buildings. New designs, shakaraba. I said new designs. You're about to build something 
that you've never built before. But the first person in the whole Bible, Bezalel, who was filled with the Spirit of God, he was filled with the Holy Ghost to create the temple. Now, let me ask you this. Yes, God's presence filled the temple. Glory to God. And there was a lot of silver and gold in the temple. A lot of sacrifices. A lot of glory. Remember, kavod in Hebrew, glory. What kavod means is wealth. It means riches and wealth. So one of the definitions of glory is riches and wealth. Why am I sharing this? Because Bezalel was anointed, filled with the Holy Ghost, to build a temple that would attract wealth, attract the glory, attract the nations, attract the wealth of the nations. If you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes and say amen. So God wants to anoint you to create. He's anointed you to build. I want you to lift up your hands and repeat this after me. Say, my hands are anointed to build. I want you to say this. My life is anointed to create. I prophesy right now creative ideas, creative miracles. I prophesy right now creative miracles in your life to take place in your body, in the body of your organization, in your body of the ministry, of your business. The Spirit of God is pouring out His Spirit and anointing you with a creative anointing to move in creative miracles. Now, we think miracles are healing miracles. Absolutely, that's one form of the miraculous or the supernatural. But let me tell you, Miracles are also classified or defined as things being created, babies being born, marriages coming together, families prospering, new businesses, new ideas, health, wealth. That is the realm of creative miracles because God is a creator. He is a conductor. He is a proprietor. He is a life giver. God loves life. Once again, that's why the Lord put Adam in the garden and he said to work. Work was before the fall, not after. Amen. Why? So that you can be like God in creating wealth. In creating and developing and giving life and bearing fruit. You will be like me in creating on earth as it is in heaven. If you're with me today, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. I believe we are in a season right now where God is saying, in the beginning of this year, begin to create. Begin to build. Begin to do. Continue to prophesy. Continue to preach and pray. Preach the word of the Lord. Pray out into the words that God has given you. Because God is still building. God is still moving. God is still creating. And I believe there's a creative anointing coming over you for creative miracles. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no heart has fathomed. And some of the things we're about to see is going to shock the world. It's not even, it's going to be things that, wow, Jesus said greater things you will do in my name. So we're going to see miracles that are, are not even listed historically in the Bible. Does that mean it's unbiblical? No, it's biblical. However, it, those types of miracles doesn't need to be in the Bible for God to be able to do those type of miracles. No. Those miracles in the Bible, in the word of God, were historically, factually written down for a specific purpose. The Bible says if, if all the miracles that Jesus did was written in the Bible, then there will be not enough books under heaven to contain all the miracles that Jesus did. Isn't that incredible? Come on, somebody. So 
God is releasing a creative realm. I'm telling you, friends, God has given you power to create, to get wealth. To catch the billion soul harvest. To reach out to souls. To be even more effective. To see a mighty move. To see miracles. My goodness. He has anointed you and filled you with the spirit of God. So that you will be able to build, do and create. And reach the world like never before. Here I am in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Last night we had a great powerful meeting. Packed house, about 300 people. And people were receiving miracles in their body. Amen. And now today I just finished speaking at a panel at ORU. And I had the honor and privilege of meeting and connecting with many great men of God who are part of the faculty, the staff of Oral Roberts University. And they invited me to chapel tomorrow. So Lord willing, I'll be able to make it. But let me tell you, last year, I visited ORU for the first time. And one year later today, here I am speaking at ORU. I believe in one year, the, the Lord is willing. But I believe in the next year, Lord willing, I'll, I'll be ministering to the bigger chapel or, or to the bigger crowd at ORU. Just because of the favor. These people want to connect me and open up doors. Incredible. God is so good. Someone say amen. But see, it takes faithfulness. It takes obedience. When you're faithful with God, he will continue to introduce you to his best friends. You have to be a mover if you want to connect with the movers. You have to be a shaker if you want to connect with other shakers. Why would men and women of God want to connect with you or pray for you or impart into you if you are not doing anything with what God's given you? When you obey and when you step out and when you begin to operate in the grace and the anointing, the measure of God's gift, grace for your life. And when you begin to do so, then you begin to attract what you're doing. And let me tell you, friends, God in this season is connecting you with other creators, with other creatives. God is connecting you with the right people so that you can create community. You can develop community. You can develop and bring to life the things of God, his kingdom, not just dreams, but reality. On earth as it is in heaven. No longer will you just talk about it. But you will walk in it. No longer will you just dream about it. And envision it. No. Those ideas. Is meant to be a reality. If God put it in your spirit. If God put it in your heart. See God do it. Creative miracles. Are you ready to create with God? Are you ready to co-create with the Lord? I'm telling you this year. 2023, it's still not late for you, friends. We're still beginning. We're still starting. This is the year for you to put your faith into action and to see the Lord prosper you like never before. I've given you power to create wealth. There is a creative anointing, the same anointing that created the heavens and the earth. The same anointing that heals body parts and causes new body parts to be created on your body in your life is the same anointing that creates businesses, creates billion, trillion, multi-million dollar idea businesses. Someone say, I am a wealth magnet. Shut up, Karabrota. And the Lord wants you to create with him. Create a whole new world. Create a new path, a new way, a new form, a new forum. Like I said earlier in the last broadcast before it got shut down, <laughs> Martin Luther of the Great Reformation of the church. That was a time where he took the Gutenberg Press and he translated the Bible, the word of God from the clergy 
language where the Bible was only read by high prestige, pompous people of the Catholic Church clergy. And therefore the word was misinterpreted, interpreted, and it was abused. But one man named Martin Luther took the Gutenberg Press and he translated the Bible, the word of God, into common day Latin language where everybody was able to read and have a Bible in their hand. And that reformation sparked the Renaissance, creative movements in Europe, which literally delivered the whole continent of Europe and affected the world from the medieval dark ages. And it came into a renaissance and renaissance means to be born again. God wants to birth creativity, ideas, movements, life in your belly, in your bosom. The Lord wants to impart and inspire and ignite something new in your life. Who's ready for the manifestation of the glory of God? In the glory, you can create. In the glory, the glory realm is a creative realm. Because the glory realm is the creative realm before time. Before the limitations and the finite was wrapped around us. But the glory realm is a creative realm where anything is possible and God can do anything. So when you get into the glory of God, then God begins to release creative miracles. He begins to release miracles and you're like, create new pathways, new destinies, create new things in your life. Are you hearing me today? If you're receiving, say amen and give us some hearts and likes. Arabo karabrata. There is a realm of creative glory. And the Lord says, I've given you power. I've given you the grace, the anointing to create wealth. The first person, Bezalel, who was anointed, in fact, filled with the Holy Ghost. Because you could be anointed, but not filled. You could be filled, but not anointed. But the first person who was filled with the Holy Spirit, Bezalel, he was filled with the Holy Ghost to build, to create. Your hands are blessed. Whatever your hands touch this year, it will prosper and take off and go to a whole new level. Are you ready for God to use you? Are you ready for God to bless you? Are you ready for the Lord to do something great in your life? If you're ready, say amen. Lift up your hands, church. Lord, I thank you for all of our friends watching right now. And I ask you, bless them, touch them, increase them. And I thank you that you will cause them to be blessed a thousandfold. Release a thousandfold blessing, oh God. And I thank you that they are walking in the anointing of creative miracles. That everything around you would be because of God's word. Not because you were born into it. Not because... You were born into a situation, a, a setting, society of darkness, of depravity, and that is fallen. But you take matters into your own hands and you begin to create with the Holy Spirit. I want to say this. You are only as rich as you want to be. I'm going to say this too. You are only as on fire with Jesus as you want to be. You are where you are at right now because of your own decision to be there. However, if you believe that you are anointed, if you believe that the spirit, the grace, the life of God is moving in and through you, if you believe that, then you shall truly increase from level to level, realm to realm. But the Spirit of God does not let His people be stagnant. Because God is not a sleeping God. He is fully awake. He does not sleep. He does not slumber. God is not a God who, who is asleep. He's not a God who is slow. But He is fully alive and awake at all times. Amen. So I'm going to repeat this again. You 
are only as rich as you allow yourself to be. You are only as prosperous. You are only as influential. You are only on fire as on fire for God as you have allowed yourself to be. If you're with me today, say amen. I feel the Holy Ghost. But the Lord wants you to create with him. He wants you to create with him. Holy, holy are you, Lord God Almighty. Worthy is the Lamb. Shut up. I lift up your hands, Lord. I thank you for the power of God. Bless your people. I thank you for creative realm. One idea can break you out of poverty. One revelation can change your life. One word can shift everything. One moment in the presence can change your life. One idea, one moment under the glory of God can change everything. And I pray for the creative realm of God, the creative miracle anointing to come over you so that you will co-create with God. Are you ready to create the best year of your life with Jesus Christ? Are you ready to design, to develop, to build up the greatest year of your life with the Holy Ghost? <laughs> the Holy Ghost loves to breathe. His life, his virtue, his power, his grace upon those that are doing the work. He will only give increase to those who sow. He will only give increase to those that are faithful. But you must put your hand to the plow in order for God to send the rain. I'm telling you, friends, this is a year to create. This is a time to create. There's a portal opened up in the spirit. Creative angels, angels of creativity, gifts of creativity, ideas are transferring to Rabaka. Things are being released and things are flowing in the spirit realm. And the Lord wants you to catch it and to believe. Do you believe? Is there faith in this broadcast today? Is there faith in the atmosphere today? The Lord wants you to believe and to do and to create with him. Like I said, this will be the best year of your life yet, but you must create with God because he's not just going to do it. He wants you to do it with him. Yes, it's going to take some time and yes, it's going to be work. But let me tell you, the future belongs to the brave and the bold. I remember reading a quote by Steve Jobs and the gist of it, Steve Jobs said that the future does not belong to the dreamers and or the doers. It belongs to the dreamers that are doers. Someone say, I'm anointed. The same God that created the heavens and the earth can create new body parts, can also create wealth in your life. I declare right now dreams and visions, visitations. I declare right now ideas, the word of God to flow. And why did I share about the Gutenberg Press and about Martin Luther? Because when every single person received a copy of the Bible in their Latin language, in their common day language, not a difficult priestly, a clerical type of language. And when each person began to read, boom, they got enlightened, they came alive, they became awake and they became creative. And that is what birthed the Renaissance movement. Manda Bhaskara Brata. New ideas, new science, new medicine, new technology, new art, new art, architecture. I'm telling you, you are the head and not the tail. So I thank you, Lord, 
for new ideas, dreams, visions, and visitations. Expect a download and expect an impartation of the creative anointing of God in the mighty name of Jesus. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim prophesying to you, ministering to you from Tulsa, Oklahoma, the home of ORU, Oral Roberts University, one of the great wells of revival on planet Earth, where Papa Kenneth Hagen of Rama and Oral Roberts uh, reside and dug these wells. Let me tell you, friends, it's time for the church to be creative and to create with God. Friends, tomorrow and Saturday, I'm ministering in Oklahoma City. I would love to see you. Also, tomorrow, we have our Facebook and YouTube live on the prophetic word of the month. So make sure you catch that. Next week, I will be in New Mexico in Gallup and in Albuquerque with Prophet Charlie Champ and Steve Swanson. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be wonderful. Amen. I can't wait to see you soon, my friends. Make sure you give this page a like and a follow. Please consider following me on Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And I cannot wait to see you again. Remember, tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard, we are doing the prophetic word of the month. God bless you, love you, bless you, and I hope to see you soon. Shalom. Please give this broadcast a share. Thank you and God bless.